Study the Bible in one year. Good morning. I haven't seen y'all in a couple of days. Guess what I was doing? Sleeping, 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 sleeping. Queen of all naps. How y'all doing? We are on December 5th. December 5th lesson, we are in a new book, the book of Hosea. I know y'all know the stories of Hosea because a lot of y'all church folks has used this story as an excuse to marry heathens. Uh-huh, that was, uh, don't use it, child. That's not what God intended it for. Okay. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up. Start the Bible in one year. We're almost done. Okay. Uh, we are in Hosea and we are also in the book of first John chapter five. I'm going to go with Hosea first. Okay. Since he's the new prophet on the block. Thank you for your love and support. Remember my t-shirts. I have t-shirts over at Janice Hilton T shop. J A N I C E Hilton H Y L T O N T as in T E A shop S H O P.com. Check them out. I have queen of all naps. Uh, a lot of my shirts are for more for my dating content, but I have some church shirts coming very soon. But I'm sure you can find something over there, girl. Psalm 23 Husband, I believe, is over there. Okay. Uh, dumb, dumb t-shirts. You will only understand what this means if you watch my other channel, Janice Hilton, and uh, my shows, Ready to Love and Married at First Sight. If you don't, girl, just check it out anyway. Do costly for crusties and dusties. How many of y'all know a lot of church women marry crusties and dusties? And this is why divorce is worse in the church than it is in the world. But girl, just get the queen of all naps shirt, okay? I love you. Hosea. Flip on over to his Hosea. We're going to read chapters one to three. The Lord gave this message to his, uh, Hosea, son of Beri, during the years when Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Ezekiah were kings of Judah, and Jeroboam, son of Joash, was king of Israel. So if you remember in our studies, Hosea, I'm surprised, was not a major prophet because he was the prophet. King Isaiah, Uzziah, this is Isaiah chapter saying in the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord also high and lifted up. His train filled the temple, blah, blah, Okay. Uh, Jotham, Ahaz, Hezekiah, kings of Judah. Jeroboam, son of jo Johash, was king of Israel, okay? If you don't remember that story, please go back and or just listen to my videos, okay? It's all there. Uh, when the Lord first began speaking to Israel through Hosea, he said to him, go and marry a prostitute so that some of her children will be conceived in prostitution. This will illustrate what is the purpose of this for you fake Christians who want to use Hosea as an excuse to marry the wrong person. Oop, it says my battery is low. Where is the, the thing? Is that charging now? Hold on, beloved. Okay, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oop. Okay. Okay, come on, baby. You should go click, click now. Oh, lordy. Oh. Come on, come on. We're gonna hold on, y'all. Hold on. It says the battery is not charging. Hold on. Hold on, beloved. Hold on. Why is it not charging? Is it charging now? Nope. Let me get another charger. Hold on. Hold on for my computer. Hold on. Hold on. Hang on, here I come. Here I come with the new charger. So we're gonna have to pull this one out because all this time I thought it was charging. Okay, is that better? Yes, it's better. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Look at this. So the purpose we're doing Bible Bible application. The purpose, go and marry a prostitute so that some of her children will be conceived in prostitution. This will illustrate how Israel has acted like a prostitute by turning against the Lord and worshiping other gods. So the purpose for, for you, Hosea, marrying a prostitute is to show the people 
how Israel turned to prosecute, prosecution, prostitution, and worshiping other gods. This is not a reason for you to go bury a heathen, especially some of y'all women. This is not a biblical reason. It said right here why God told Hosea to do it. Huh? With divorce being worse in the church than it is in the world. How many of y'all know we got to do something better? This is why y'all need to come over to my other channel. Church girls want to get married too, because I'm teaching you how to choose a good husband. I am teaching you how we can cut down on the divorce world. Okay. Verse three, Hosea one, verse three. So Hosea married Gorner, the daughter of Debalan, and she became pregnant and gave Hosea a son. And the Lord said, name the child Jezreel, for I am about to punish King Jehu's dynasty to avenge the murders he committed at Jezreel. In fact, I will bring an end to Israel independence. I will break its military power in Jezreel Valley. Soon, Gomer became pregnant again and gave birth to a daughter. And the Lord said to Hosea, name her Loruhama, not love, for I will no longer show love to the people of Israel or forgive them. So all of this is what? A picture. Did we not forget Isaiah? Was it Isaiah? Or was it Ezekiel? I think it was Isaiah. Laid on his side for 365 days. Are you supposed to go lay on your side for 365 days? So why you want to marry a heathen and say, God told you, use Hosea as an example. Make it make sense to me. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he said, I will no longer show love to my people, but I will show love to the people of Judah. I will free them from their enemies, not with weapons and armies or horses and charioteers, but by my power as the Lord their God. So remember, Bible student, that the nation of Israel was split into two nations. Israel, 10 tribes. Judah, two tribes, which is the tribe of Judah and Benjamin. Now, I have major problem concerns. Let me not say concern because we know David is from the tribe of Judah. Benjamin Saul is from the tribe of Benjamin. The Benjamites had issues with King David being king. And so there's always some friction there. So when I'm doing my studying for my study guide, I'm going to make sure to study that extensively because I want to understand what really happened. Not that I mind. It's just interest. It's just ironic. Okay. After verse, after Goma had weaned Loroma, she again became pregnant and gave birth to a second son. And the Lord said, name him Loami, not my people, for Israel is not my people and I am not their God. Yet the time will come when Israel people will be like the sands of the seashore, too many to count, that at the place there where they were told, you are not my people, it will be said, you are children of the living God. Then the people of Judah and Israel will unite together. They will choose one leader for themselves and they will return uh, from their exile. What a day that will be, the day of Jezreel, when God will again plant his people in his land. Chapter two, Hosea chapter two. In that day, you will call your brother's army, uh, my people, and you will call your sister Ruhama, the ones I love. But now bring charges against Israel, your mother, for she is no longer my wife. And I am no longer her husband. Tell her to remove the prostitute to make up from her face and um, tell her to remove the prostitute's makeup from her face and the clothing that exposes her breast. And so how many of y'all know that is an excuse people use for not for women not wearing makeup because they feel like makeup is for prostitution. But when you read all the kings and queens and all the beautiful, how beautiful Esther was, Esther was wearing makeup. Make it make sense to me. Okay.
verse three of Hosea chapter two. Otherwise I will strip her as naked as she was on the day she was born. I will leave her to die of thirst as in a dry and barren wilderness. And I will not love her children for they were conceived in prostitution. Their mother is a shameless prostitute and became pregnant in a shameful way. She said, I will run after other lovers and sell myself to them for food and water, for clothing of wool and linen and for olive oil and drinks. For this reason, I will fence her in with thorn bushes. I will block her path with the wall to make her lose her way. When she runs after her lover, she will be able to catch them. She will search for them, but not find them. Then she will think I might as well return to my husband for I was better off with him than I am now. She doesn't realize it was I who gave her everything she has the grain, the new wine, the olive oil. I even gave her silver and gold, but she gave all my gifts to Baal. But now I will take back and ripe the ripened grain and new wine I generously provided our each harvest season. I will take away the wool and linen clothing. I will take away the wool and linen clothing I gave her to cover her nakedness. I will strip her naked in public while all her lovers look on. No one will be able to rescue her from my hands. I will put an end to her annual festivals, her new moon celebrations and her Sabbath days, all their appointments, her new moon celebrations and her Sabbath days, all her appointed festivals. I will destroy her grapevine and her fig trees. Things will claim her loves her again. I will let them grow into tangled thickets where only wild animals will eat the fruit. I will punish her for all those times when she burned incense to her images of Baal, when she put on her earrings and jewels and went out to look for her lovers, but forgot all about me, says the Lord. That's another verse they use to say women shouldn't wear jewels and, and earrings. Okay, give me one second, beloved. Think on it, think on it, think on it. Yes, let's see. All right, guys, I'm back. 
you know, you know, you got tape and deal with mommy issues at the same time. <laughs> so we're still at Isaiah chapter two, verse 14. But then I will win her back once again. I will lead her into the desert and speak tenderly to her there. I will return her vineyards to her and transform the valley of trouble into a gateway of hope. She will give herself to me there as she did long ago when she was young, when I freed her from her captive in Egypt. When the day comes, says the Lord, you will call me my husband mm. instead of my master. Oh, Israel, I will wipe the many names of Baal from your lips and you will never mention them again. On that day, I will make a covenant with all the wild animals and the birds of the sky and the animals that scurry along the ground so they will not harm you. I will remove all weapons. Uh, of war from the land, all swords and bowls, so you can live un unafraid in peace and safety. I will make you my wife forever, showing you righteousness and justice, unfailing love and compassion. I will be faithful to you and make you mine, and you will finally know me as the Lord. In that day, I will answer, says the Lord, I will answer the sky as it pleads for rain clouds, and the sky will answer the earth with rain. Then the earth will answer the thirst to cries of the grain, the grapevines and the olive trees, and they in turn will answer Jezreel God plans. At that time, I will plant a crop of Israel and raise them for myself. I will show love to those I call not love and to those I call not my people. I will say, no, you are my people. And they will reply, you are my God. And, you know, that's all God wanted. Okay, that's all God wanted. Hosea chapter three, then the Lord said to me, go and love your wife again. Even though she commits adultery with another lover, this will illustrate that the Lord still love Israel, even though the people have turned to other gods and to love worship. So what is the purpose of Hosea returning to his wife? Verse three, uh, Hosea chapter three. So I bought her back for 15 pieces of silver. What does it mean to buy back? and five bushels of barley and a measure of wine. Then I said to her, you must live in my house for many days and stop your prostitution during this time. You will not have any sexual relations with anyone, not even with me. This shows that Israel will go uh, a long time without king or prince and without sacrifice, sacred pillars, priests, or even idols. But afterwards, the people will return and devote themselves to the Lord their God and to David's descendant, the king. In the last days, they will tremble in awe of the Lord and his goodness. Isn't that beautiful? But beloved, I want to remind you, this is not for you to go do. Okay, you thirsty woman, marry these heathen men. Talk about what Hosea married a heathen. Uh-uh. He, God told us why he told him to do that. It was to show the people. It was to show the people, flip on over to John 5, and then I think the next day we're going into the book of Revelation. Ah! John 5. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has become a child of God, and everyone who loves the Father loves his children too. We know we love God's children if we love God and obey his commandments. Loving God means keeping his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. For every child of God defeats this evil world, and we are, achieve the victory through our faith. And who can win this battle against the world? Only those who believe in the name of Jesus, the Son of God. And Jesus Christ was revealed as God's son by his baptism in water and by shedding his blood on the cross, not by water only, but by water and blood. And the spirit who is truth confirms it with his testimony. So we have three, these three witnesses, the spirit, the water and the blood, and all three agree. Since we believe human testimony, surely we can believe the greater testimony that comes from God. And God has testified about his son. All who believes in the son of God know in their hearts that this testimony is true. Those who don't believe this are actually calling God a liar because they don't believe that God has testified about his son. And this is what God has testified. He has given us eternal life and this life is in his son. Whoever has the son, his has the son has life. Whoever does not have God's son does not have life. I have written this to you who believe in the name of the son of God so that you may know who you have eternal life. And we are confident that we hear as whenever we speak for anything that pleases him. And since we know he hears us, then we know our request. We also know that he will give 
us uh, what we ask. That is actually one of my favorite scriptures. This is the confidence we have in him that we know that anything we ask according to his will, he will give us King James Version. This is the confidence we have in him. Can you say you have confidence in the Lord? Amen. You see a fellow believer sinning in a way that does not lead to death. You should pray and God will give the person life. But there is a sin that leads to death. And I am not saying you should pray for those who commit it. All wicked actions are sin, but not every sin leads to death. Okay? Not every sin leads to death. We know that God's children do not make a practice of sinning. This is it. All of sin and come short of God's glory. We all fall, but you don't practice sin. Okay? You can't tell me you're a believer and you're shacking up. Let's just use shacking up, living in sin. We know that God's children do not make a practice of sinning. If you are living a contrary lifestyle, if you call yourself a believer and you're living contrary to God's word, then you are practicing sin. For God's son holds them securely that the evil one cannot touch them. We know that we are children of God and that the world around us is under the control of the evil one. And we know that God, the son of God has come and he has given us understanding so that we can know the true God. And now we live in fellowship with the true God because we live in fellowship with his son, Jesus Christ. He is the only true God and he is eternal life. Dear children, keep away from anything that might take God's place in your heart. Psalm 124, Psalm 124. What if the Lord had not been on our side? Let all Israel repeat. What if the Lord had not been on our side when people attacked us? They would have swallowed us alive in their burning anger. The waters would have engulfed us. A torrent would have overwhelmed us. Yes, the raging waters of their fury would have overwhelmed uh, our very lives. Praise the Lord who did not let their teeth tear us apart. We escaped like a bird from a hunter's trap. The trap is broken and we are free. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Proverbs 29, 5 to 8. To flatter friends is to lay a trap for their feet. Mm, that's why I'm trusting people trying to flatter me, honey. Evil people are trapped by sin, but the righteous escape shouting for joy. The godly care about the rights of the poor. The wicked don't care at all. Mockers can get a whole town agitated, but the wise will calm anger. That's our reading for today. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I'm trying to catch it, trying to catch up, but don't worry. I'm going to get it done. Thanks for your love and support. I have to go. Have a good day. Happy Saturday. Remember my book, Show Me Love. Okay. Commit to buying a book. Commit it. Commit. If you want to support me, commit to buying a t shirt a month or a week or whatever. I love you. I love you. Bye.